Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Bogoy Ivanov versus Sergey Bilastoni. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence on Sergey, not Sergey, Bogoy Ivanov to beat Sergey Bilastoni. So low confidence, Bogoy Ivanov. Low confidence, Bogoy Ivanov to beat Sergey Bilastoni. And um, yeah, I think um, Bilastoni is a good solid fighter, but I think um. Blagoy Ivanov will be a good foil here. So you got the kind of the younger fighter here in um, Bilostini, kind of the more upcoming, up and fighter. So you got the youth versus the, the age fighter. So, you know, you got that bit of foil. Then you got this guy that's young, you know, can um, be a little bit more dynamic and whatnot. But he hasn't yet really faced a guy, you know, he hasn't had losses, but he hasn't faced a guy that, you know, necessarily with the style and experience of Blagoy Ivanov. You know, the Sambo championships, the chin, the sturdy chin, the scrappiness, the veteranness, you know. He has a guy with that type of ability just yet. And I think I'm blue, I mean, Sergey Bilostini will come out and, you know, have a good lead. Probably be, try, you know, probably, probably come out a little bit hot when we feel like Blue Ivanov's not singing for me. Right, going to start to resort to being a little bit more lateral. You know, be a little bit more light on the feet and try to just not stay in front of Blue Ivanov. But I think Blue Ivanov's going to, you know, bring him into They're going to cut him off and touch him with big shots. And, you know, start to apply that pressure on him. He started to wear down on blue, you know, um, Sergey Bilicini. Bilicini hasn't really fought a guy like that that's not going to quake for him or not going to crumble for him. And I think that pressure's going to break him. I feel like the pressure for him kind of broke for him in um, the Tyrell Fortune fight. It was a fight he, you know, obviously it was a case like, sorry, I mean, it was like Tyrell Fortune stopped him. Like, the fight stopped because he hit Tyrell Fortune with some back of the head shots or something like that. But, um, yeah, I feel like it was a mental break, you know, mental lapse. And I feel like... That also mental lapse can occur to you when you're in a fight, when you're getting pressured and it's not going your way. And I feel like it's going to happen in that f fashion. And you're going to start to break, start to crumble. And he's going to start to mentally defeat himself, mentally check out it when the guy's not falling for him and it's staying in his face, stuffing his takedowns, getting back up from his takedowns, hit him with big shots, cracking with big shots, wild him. And like, you know, also in fact, when you're hitting a guy with like two, three shots to his one shot, and, you know, he's not really affected. He hits you with one shot. You get a wild bull, get a rock, and he's just constantly pressuring you. I feel like that's what um, Blagoy Bonds will do. He's going to bring that sturdy chin, bring that pressure, bring that dog. And it's going to be a learning experience for Billistini. I think um, he breaks him eventually and finishes up. He's going to break him over the course of the fight, but I think he ultimately finishes him, I'm going to say, third round. Third round for um, Blagoy Ivanov. So, in this one, I got Blagoy Ivanov via third round TKO. Um, 